Hello everyone, my name is Kita, and today we are going to be playing my Red Devil Desert custom hood. But today we are going to be playing the Pyres household. Uh, Jean Stiles fell in love with Bula Pyres in SimCity while she was running in a cash register at one of his father's stores that he owned. They went on a date and a year later they were married. Jean's wanted to show his devotion to Bula by taking her last name. Over the 40 years they have been married, a rift has formed between Gein and Bula. Gein attempting to become a success as successful as his father has led to many long nights at work and away from his wife. Bula isn't lonely though, as she has taken her siblings and their children in in their time of need. Gein showed his support in accepting this decision, but providing financial support and approval might not be enough to keep this marriage going anymore. Will Gein learn to stop throwing money towards Bula to show affection and retire for some quality time in their last years? So already we are going to have to make some adjustments here. Um, and I'll show you why in just a second. So let's go ahead and just introduce everybody again. In case you skipped the introduction video or you weren't interested. Bula has always wanted a big family. Unfortunately, Gein has never been too fond of the idea of having children. Plus, he's always... Oh my god, I lost my space. Plus, he's always spending long nights at work. He doesn't even mind that a lot of Bula's family is living with them right now, but she thinks that's just because he isn't home long enough to really see any of them. Or her. Bula is settled for helping to take care of her brother Brooke and her sister Starla's children. As far as she's concerned, she loves them like her own, and that is enough. Or is it? And then, uh, let's look at the family tree here. So Bula is married to Gein, and they have no children, as you can see, uh, even though they are both elderly. And then Bula has two siblings, Brooks and her brother Brooks, who's a plant sim, and Starla. Uh, both of them are elders. Uh, Starla has one daughter, her name is Maria, and uh, Maria has a son, Brenton, who is only a toddler. And then Brooks has two sons who are both adults, and uh, one is a vampire, but we're going to get to that in a second. Let's actually go to Gein, that probably makes more sense. So Gein is currently in the tub. Gein Pyres goes on vacation with his wife Bula every year to celebrate their anniversary. Last year, Gein and Bula ran into a vampire at a haunted house they were staying at. The vampire offered the both of them the gift of eternity. Bula declined, but the but Gein agreed. Now Gein gets to be a silver fox for the rest of his eternal life, or at least until he drinks a cure potion. Maybe now he'll have time to create that shop empire he's always wanted. He just has to work harder. And of course, his bio doesn't really mention, you know, his wife or him talking to her about this decision or anything like that. Um, but as you can see, uh, Bula wants to be a vampire. So it was something she rolled when I moved them in and I interpreted that as she wants to join him in eternity. Like, they, she does love him. Um, and I think in his own way, he loves her as well. It might just not be the way she needs him to be there for her. Oh, nope. Starla, come here. Starla. And this is Starla. You can kind of see the family resemblance. Uh, they both kind of have the same nose. Um. Starla is a very socially active old woman who takes the time to go out to bars with her girlfriends and may participate in a quick hookup or two. In fact, this lifestyle is what gave her her daughter, Maria. Starla never realized she could love anything more than her lifestyle, but she does. Starla reconnected with her sister Bula and moved into her estate, but Bula was more than happy to help raise Maria as her baby daddy wasn't in the picture and Bula had never had children of her own. Ironically, it was this whole incident that really helped Starla decide she was gay. While she loves her daughter, she didn't want to have another one that would just end up abandoned by her, their father. 
And unfortunately for Starla, usually men who do one night stands at bars aren't really looking for a commitment. But woohooing with women doesn't have those consequences. Does it? So, I know, technically speaking, she's still attracted to men and everything, but for the sake of the Sims 2 mechanics, she's gay. Because otherwise, she, ACR would definitely take over and she would definitely go sleep with guys when in her story she's sort of sworn that off. Even though she probably could go back into it now, because she's an elder, I don't believe you can get pregnant as an elder in The Sims 2. Unless you're a guy, you can still have children as an elder, but women can't. And here we have Brooks. Uh, Brooks turned into a plant sim after getting into a weeding accident. However, he came to realize he really loves being a plant sim. Brooks unfortunately has the tendency to discover things about himself a little too late in life. For example, he married a woman and after having two children with her realized he was gay. The divorce was messy, but Brooks was more than happy that he got his children out of the arrangement, even if his wife got to keep the house. He moved in with his sister Bula and her husband after the messy divorce and similarly with Starla and Maria. Bula was happy to have Brooks and his children living in her home. So Bula's really done a lot for them by taking them all in. Uh, Bula's a very kind soul. And while he's right here, we'll go on to one of Brooks' sons. This is Tanner. Hello, Tanner. Um... Brooke's youngest son, Tanner, is an incredibly charismatic fellow. He's already making headlines in SimCity with his acting career. He lives out in Red Devil Desert, away from the city to be away from the journalists and reporters. Well, most of them, anyway. He would be lying if he said his father's position in SimTastical News as a popular journalist didn't give him the boost he needed to stardom. But he also knows that he worked for it. To some extent, he has a degree to prove it. You can tell from the wants. That he has a degree um let's go to his brother oh, his fangs are messing up i hate when the fangs do that but this is duncan duncan is one of brooke's children he is the closest to Gein. in fact he convinced king to turn him into a vampire duncan is also the one who caused the weeding accidents as he is the gardener in the family i'm sure he didn't mean to turn his dad into a plant sim right? Duncan has a fascination with law and rules. He made all the rules for the games he, Maria, and Tanner played while growing up. He will make a great lawyer because he wants to max out his law, the law career. And Tanner and Duncan don't have any children yet, but Maria, hi Maria, you pretty thing you, like mother, like daughter, Maria has a tendency to go out to bars and find other single people for a friendly hookup. And much like her mother, Maria had a daughter from a one-night stand, whose father also decided to be out of the picture. You know what Maria decided to do? That's right. Keep her bar-hopping style and simply sleep with women so as not to have this happen again. The apple really doesn't fall that far from the tree. Again, I know that technically means she's bisexual. I know. I'm bisexual. I get it. But for the mechanics, we had to make her gay for this storyline to work. So, as you can see, they don't have a ton of money. Um, and their house is pretty much the epitome of my usual building style, which is an enormous box with a door. I always forget to put windows in. In fact, that's something I have to fix for the upload, so I <laughs> just have to put windows in. A lot of these hairs I'm using also, and these eyes are custom. Uh, so if you're like, oh wow, how'd you get these eye colors and stuff? It's all custom. Um, which unfortunately I didn't think of. I knew I was using custom hairs, but I didn't think about the eye thing, so I'm going to have to uh, link you guys to the customize, because that stuff's hard to fix eyes are genetic um while hairstyles are pretty simple to change uh to default so i'll have to keep that in mind when i make my next hood that use default eyes don't use custom i really just didn't think about it 
Like, they are really pretty customized. I would definitely take a look at them uh, when I put the upload up. Also, you guys are going to notice my vampires are up and around the house and their needs aren't decreasing like they're dying, even though it's, it's, it's daytime. Uh, that's because I have a mod from Midge the Tree that allows uh, the Sims to just sort of be up and walking. Actually, I don't know if it's Mitch the Tree. I'd have to, I have to look it up. I'll put a link in the description. But basically, it allows the vampires to sort of walk around during the day, and um, their need decay is based off of what their aspiration level is right now. So right now he's uh, green, so he's fine. It's normal decay. Platinum, I don't think they have any decay. Gold, I think it's just super slow. Uh, red, it's super fast. So you want to keep vampires pretty happy with this mod, otherwise it's going to get kind of hectic. Uh, at night time, though, uh, their needs don't go down at all because they're vampires and they're supposed to be out at night. And I don't know, I just felt like that made them more playable. Otherwise, you're kind of stuck doing nothing until nighttime, and then at that point, all the other Sims are asleep. So it just, it just didn't make any sense to me to do that. So, also, we need to sell these beds and get some coffins, because I forgot we have a family full of people that are vampires or want to be vampires. We have Bula wants to be a vampire, Brooks wants to be a vampire, <laughs> there's a plant sim, it's a good thing I have this mod, otherwise this would be a death sentence, and I, w I still would change him even though I know it's a death sentence, for the reason of... Darwinism. Uh, and Duncan also wants to be a vampire. And I think that's because we have a lot of secondary knowledges uh, in our family. Yeah. Full of secondary knowledge and everything. So. Probably gonna have Duncan turn his wife. Um have Tanner probably turn his brother, if we can do that. Have Bula change her brother, probably. Mm. Uh, I love seeing that. Two sisters becoming best friends, that's great. Y yep, yeah, Skeen. You're very, very scary, Skeen. So I have these cheaper looking uh, coffins that are obviously not as well made. They're all dingy and stuff, which is cool. Not as nice as these. But we currently need the dingy looking ones. Because coffins are expensive, unfortunately. I try to avoid using uh, these beds. Because while they're really cheap, their stats are fairly high. Unlike a normal bed at that level. So it feels a little cheap to use them. So hopefully people will make some money at their jobs. And once we get some money, hopefully we'll be able to buy them some personal items. Brooks wants to raise a wonder child, which I don't know. I don't think he's going to make it because his uh, current children are all grown already. And he's elderly. And even if he had a plant sim baby, uh, Wonder Child requires uh, the children to go through college, and Plant Sims unfortunately skip the teenage life stage and go straight into adult. And I know there are mods out there to give them the child and teenage life stage. I don't want to put up, I don't want to do that. It's one, it's too much work, and two, I know it's crazy it's me saying that, but one, it's too much work, and two, um, I like how fast plant sims age, because they're plants, they're people plants, so it makes sense that they grow up so much faster than other people. I like that. And of course we have Tanner who is doing very well for himself um, in his career. Maria, I'm kind of waiting for her to roll a career just because uh, her want is to reach the top of just a career, any really and have uh, three children reach like level six or higher in their career. So she just wants a really successful lineage, basically. Um, and of course, uh, Duncan, he's just kind of getting started in his law career. Oh, people are coming to visit. That's so nice. Who needs to go to work right now? Stop reading to the baby. It's very sweet, but you got workbooks and we need the money. 
Oh my gosh, and everyone over here is still talking. Bula! Bula! It's another old lady. It's another elderly. Hello, Shahana. Anya. Anya Shahana, how you doing? Check her out. Check her out. Check out. Alright, stop talking. Did you check her out? Gosh darn it. Mm. Oh yeah, I got these like default replacement drinks, they're really cute. So she's not all that attracted to Luana, which is incredibly unfortunate. Oh! But she is attracted to Sylvia and Anya. Well, let's come talk to Anya, get her on our radar. What are you trying- are you trying to do, like, gray hair or something? Oh, she's just attracted to an education and accessories. Yeah, she's got a pull with two of the older women in town, that's so funny. Wait, go talk to Felisa, do you have- do you like Felisa? I wouldn't think you like old women if you just- Maria likes them older. No? No? Nothing? Oh, maybe police is straight. Wait, no, here's another one. Here's another one. Go, go greet. Oh, Kristen must be straight, too. But I like to greet people and, uh, basically just see, see who talks to who, see who gets along. <gasps> oh, Brenton's gonna grow up soon. Oh, shit. Brenton! Brenton! Um, alright, where's our phone? Do I put a phone? Yeah, I do. It's right uh, let's throw a birthday party. Do we have enough money for a cake? Uh, yeah, we'll play Sophie. She's the only person who matters out here. Yeah. We're throwing a birthday party. Now we're good. Oh yay, money! Brooks came home with some money. That's nice. That's good. We needed it. Um, let's see. Let's just go with this one. Yeah. Brooks, it's for you. Brooks, it's for your great great niece. Yeah. Great great nephew. Niece is a girl. Great nephew. <gasps> Look at all the people, holy crap. Hello everyone, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm trying to... Trying to get it at the perfect moment. Perfect. Bling. <laughs> Yay! I can't wait. Let's see what it looks like. Come on, show us. Show us. No. He's got like little uh, chops, but he's cute. Let me look at you. Stop running! Oh, he's got a little sacky little face. He looks like, um. He looks like Brooks in the face, I think. Which is really funny. I don't know where the frick you're running off to. Oh, do you have to use the bathroom? Oh my gosh, yes he does. Maria, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Let your son use the restroom. No! 
Ow! Is is out. I knew I should have made another. You know what? We're gonna make another one right now. You look real cute like that, though. They're on tile floor too. That must suck. She just wants to be a vampire that badly. Like, Blue, get out of the coffin. Your husband needs to bite you. Uh, bite neck. Let's go ahead and watch this. I wish their skin tone didn't change like that, but I, I get it. I have to fix her makeup now. <laughs> she wants to buy vampiracillin! She got turned and immediately she was like, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want immortality. I don't like it. Why are you all sleeping in the coffins? Get out of the coffins. They're not for you. They're for the vampires. I didn't even know regular sims could sleep in the coffins. Because he wants to turn into a vampire. And he and Bula, again, are fairly close, so... That's a hybrid. And now he should be very happy. And um, his sunlight needs terrible. But the thing is, um, he his needs aren't going to go down now because he's a vampire. Of course, he wants Vampircillin immediately, just like his sister, because he is, I think, a secondary family. Oh no, he's fortune. That's very surprising then that he wants Vampircillin D. Family sims are really funny that way. They'll want to turn into what their partner is, and then they're like, oh no, never mind, I don't... I don't like this. <laughs> okay, and oh, he must be best friends with Brenton. That's so sweet. His nephew. That's lovely. So can you turn your son into a... Yeah, he can. So he could turn Tanner. It's like, it's so crazy that all of these sims want so badly to be vampires. It's like... I feel like that one meme where he tears down the wall and he's like, Are you sure about that? <laughs> when they were all, all want to be in a cult. Because sometimes they immediately are just like, I want to change back, I didn't like it, never mind. It's so funny. Uh. <laughs> you guys are fine. I know it's probably just a reflexive animation for them, but you guys are fine. As long as you're happy, you're fine. Yeah, she's got all these like cute little freckle beauty mark things going on, which I think I'll leave. Um, so I don't want to take off her. I just need to fix um, her her nose makeup. I also need to give her. Uh... Actually, no, she's a vampire. I think I'll make that a rule. Uh, usually, I put like wrinkles and stuff on my elderlies, but. She's a vampire, so I probably won't. I imagine they get rid of... Imagine it's like the best skin cream in the world, vampirism. Just gets rid of all the wrinkles. She might be stuck being an elder, but I meant she's gonna look like the best elder you've ever seen. That's all I wanted. Ooh, care for that. I know you're stinky. I know, I know, I know. God, guys. Okay, so he wants to gain a body skill, which makes sense. Why don't you go out here and, like, jump rope with your dad? Alrighty, stinky. Say hi to Amos. Hello, Amos. Where's the child? Get out of bed! Go to school! What the heck you doing? Who's Carol Terrell? 
Do I see a Carol Terrell? Who? Who is that? What? Who? What? Where? What? Oh, I wonder if that's the bus driver. It probably is. Yes, yeah, the bus driver. Carol Terrell is the bus driver. <laughs> Wonderful to see her walking around our hood now because she's the bus driver. Go, kid, go! I know you're stinky. It's listen. It's fine. Kids your age are going through learning about deodorant and stuff. It's fine. You barely got more sunlight. Are you kidding? Oh, Bula, you need to get out. You need to get out of there. Your brother needs that. No, come take a- come take a bath. Dude. It's, guys, you need to stop. Your- your brother so severely needs this bath. Like, for reals. For reals. I know you all need the bath, but you guys need to stop and get out of there. No, stop running outside. I don't know why you run outside. Don't die. Please don't die. Oh. Is it like... Get, get in the bath. Get in the bath. Get in the bath. Get in the bath. Is it like energy? I just thought if any of these like dropped to nothing, you'd die. Lynn? Lynn's from the Wickland family, and she's really cute. She's a cute little thing. Isn't she just the nerdiest Harry Potter looking thing you've ever seen? She's adorable. I feel like we haven't even gotten much progress because it's just been so much chaos. And I think the reason the plant sim doesn't want to stay outside is because the game's not built to have vampires be outside during the day, so... He's just kind of like, I don't want to just stand here. <laughs> Alright, Duncan, go pick up the phone. You got a friend, apparently. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, no! Uh... Starla. Oh, my God! <laughs> we have someone waiting on the phone! <laughs> what is this timing? Okay, 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 stop talking to him. Pick up this phone. No, he's not. Don't, don't, don't go over. Don't go over there. No, stop. Call, nope, not services. Call, emergency. Get over here. Oh my God, you guys. Get over here, come on. Stop freaking out. Oh my God. You guys are gonna die. <sighs> can the child call 911? Emergency? Can you do that for me, please? And just in case you freak the fuck out? Don't, don't, child, child. You are my only hope. Call emergency. Call emergency. No, 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 no. Call emergency, for God's sakes. Well, Bull is dying. Cause no one's going to the fucking phone. I do hate this, that everyone just keeps freaking out and no one will go to the goddamn phone. Stop! Stop! Why is no one going to the phone? Go to the phone! Call! Not work. Emergency! You're all gonna die at this rate! And I'm not gonna stop it if you're being stupid! Stop freaking out about the fire! Stop! Stop freaking out about the fire! Oh my god, Brooke, save them. Save them, save them, save them. Call. Not work. I keep doing that. Call. Emergency. Call. Emergency. Yeah, Bull's gonna die. I'm not worried about it. No. You're not doing that. Call. Emergency. Call. Emergency. C 
Come on, I know you can do it. They built it into the game. I don't care. Don't, you were almost there. You were almost there. The struggle's real. I swear to God. I swear to God. Brooks, pick up the phone. Jesus Christ. Brooks, don't go over there. You're a plant sim, you dumbass. You better hurry the fuck up, dude. People are dying. I'm not gonna stop it. I'm not. That's- I don't- I don't interfere. If people die from fires because they're too stupid to go get the phone because stupid mechanic shit, I don't stop it. This is what's called a tragic fire. Lola just died. There's a Grim Reaper. I can sh I have proof of how stupid this was. And he's low in sunlight now, which means he's probably gonna die too. Look how easy that was because you guys called the Okay. I'm surprised Bulu was the only uh well, they're all probably gonna die. All of their mo Yeah, like everyone's gonna die. Except probably a few of them. Like, their needs are terrible now. Like, where's their kitchen at? <laughs> their kitchen's gone. I don't think we got any insurance. I know there are people in the comments that are gonna be really mad at me, but... Guys, I, you, you watched what happened. I did everything I could to get them to call the fire station. Like, this shit happens. Because the game mechanics. I don't feel bad at all. I'm, I am sad that Bull is dead, because she was really what held this family together, but... Game mechanics be stupid. Alright, so let's buy a single counter. We'll put it here. Um, we'll buy a fridge. We'll put it here. Uh, we'll buy a cheap Ikea stuff. We'll put it there. Because you guys are idiots. She wants to resurrect Bula, but the problem is I do allow resurrection, but only... Uh, if a sim is in the paranormal career and they have the tools available to them, like, like the resurrect Um I don't bring sims back just cause. Uh, like, they actually have to actively pursue that. And now they want to buy a fire alarm, which I will now give them. I usually don't start households with fire alarms, because I literally buy things that my sims want. And usually they don't want a fire alarm unless there's a fire. And most of the time, that's not a problem because um, they call the fire department, the fire department comes, they take care of the fire, and then they roll the one to get a fire alarm. And nothing bad really happens outside of a scare. But um, as you can see, sometimes it's a shit fest. So we'll have her come over here. Oh, look. Yeah, your wife died. Yeah, yeah, your sister died. All your guys' fault. Who was cooking? Who else died? Who else just died? Maria, her needs were too low. I knew, I knew we were gonna have more casualties. I knew it. That sucks. Poor Starla. Oh, that sucks. Poor Starla. So Starla just lost her big sister and her daughter. Duncan just lost- not Duncan, I'm sorry. Brenton just lost his mom. Brenton, go upstairs, go to bed. Just- just go to bed, honey. It's been a rough night for you. He wants to resurrect his mom. Um... 
I'll lock it in, just because the best friend forever thing is kind of invalid at the moment. And uh, resurrecting her has a higher power point amount than being friends with Lin. So we'll see how long he keeps that, like until he rolls something that's higher points and whatnot. Maybe he will actually actively pursue resurrecting his mother, who knows? Please go. And I think most of the vampires are alive because this took place at night, otherwise everyone would be dead from their needs, like, no joke. Because look at how bad Starla is right now, she's on the brink. And I am really surprised that Brooks isn't dead because there is no sunlight right now. And they do not have enough money to buy uh, a light for him. He's gonna have to hope that he holds out till the sun comes up. Because if he doesn't, then that's just gonna suck for him. He's just gonna be dead and the boys will have lost their dad. Like... I have never in my entire time of playing seen a fire situation go that poorly. I'm real serious. I've I've never seen it that bad. Never. Never have I seen it that bad. Like they were like actively fighting me to not call the fire department. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to wait to clean all that up till we get people stable and tragedies do occur. I didn't even roll random occurrence scenario yet. This just happened on its own. I create situations that could possibly develop into drama, but again, I've never had a situation this bad before. Like, I've had maybe one person die because they ran directly into the fire. Like a dummy, but... Not this. Not the whole family running into the fire and then actively fighting me to not call the fire department. Oh, he wants to resurrect his grandma or his great aunt. Oh, that's so sad. It's just been a real hectic time for everybody. Speaking of hectic, I have to rule in McCurrent. It's Wednesday. I have to run out of McCurrent. They haven't been through enough, apparently. I have to, I have to do this. It's a uh, one through nine for category. Seven. Um, all right, and then it's a one through 16. 12. Well, that was a little anticlimactic given all that's happened, but basically someone just loses a logic skill point. Does anyone have logic? Uh, okay, so Bula, Gein, Tanner, and... Duncan. So that's four. So we'll roll to see which of them loses. So... One. So... Let's put Starla one. So Starla's gonna lose a logic point. Which isn't as sad as everything else that's happened. I'm sure it doesn't really bother her any. Oh, he's dying. You can tell from the his hair. Huh? What about you over Okay, let's go. You know what? Birdwatch. Birdwatch is a really easy way to- No! Birdwatch. Gasha! Blah! Duncan's just gonna die. There's like nothing I can do at this point. The day is proceeding quietly and smoothly until Duncan receives a phone call from his boss's wife, Miss Vanderso. The woman has zero patience for others and demands her husband be put on the phone immediately. Duncan is about to comply until he remembers Mr. Vanderso is currently meeting with very important client, and he doesn't need the stress from talking to his wife. Should Duncan patch Miss Vanderso through or keep her on the line until her husband is finished? Who? Two. Two. Keep her on the line. Uh, Duncan decides to take one for the team and distract Miss Vanderso long enough to let his boss do his job. The evil wife wastes no time in being mean to Duncan, but he expected as much and easily pushes the comments to the back of his mind. Mr. Vanderso finishes his meeting just in time to rescue Duncan from the onslaught, and he immediately picks up the line. At the end of the day, Mr. Vanderso apologizes to Duncan for having to deal with his wife, and to make up for it guarantees he will never have to speak to the woman again, because Duncan is now a legal biller. Oh, good for Duncan! 
Oh, that money's nice. Oh, he doesn't want to be a vampire anymore. It's not a power want, though. And unfortunately, we don't have a witch that currently sells anything, doesn't have a shop yet. <laughs> He's sitting there like, where's my, where's my food? Where's my food? And she's just like, he sat in their own chairs. And there's more soup in the bowl, too, so she purposely did not serve them. That's so funny. She's like, you've eaten enough food at our house. Oh, he wants to resurrect his sister. That's so sweet. I don't know if you have long enough to do that. Bricks. Sorry, honey. Well, <laughs> he's got options, I guess. He, he's good off with Galen, and he's got chemistry with Moana. Maybe the family needs a witch. Just seems kind of cruel. Bullet just died like a year ago. I'm really sad that no one in this household outside of Gein has come across anybody they have chemistry with. I know I have gay sims in my neighborhood. I know I do. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Why haven't they visited? Uh -huh. They're talking about kids. Because Lawrence and Brooks both have had children at this point. They're like, yeah, children. <laughs> Brooks wants to gain a creativity point, though. I can do that. Go on. He wants to earn a creativity as well, a body skill, and a charisma. So let's go ahead and have him jump rope, I guess. Have him do a medium jump rope. Not okay! Not okay! That is your, like, family, dude. You are not allowed to think you're great. Uncle? You're not allowed to think your great uncle's attractive. That's weird. I guess he doesn't register as family, does he? Because he's not blood related. That's weird. Dun Duncan, that's weird. He's family, Duncan. Oh, that's weird. Duncan, he's family. I know your great aunt died, but like... That doesn't give you rights to go be with him, though. Duncan, that's weird. Oh no, that's, that's, that's weird to me. Is that weird to anybody else? It's fine though, because... I mean, it should be fine though, because Gein's straight, so nothing's gonna happen there, but... Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Go take a bath while you can, my dude. So you guys don't keep fighting over it. See, this is 2,500, this is 3,000. Like, right off the bat, we already get a higher power of want. Gein's foursome includes the president of the company, and he spent a good part of the day discussing the president, her o her overwhelming desire to win this year's tournament. Unbelievably, coming into the 18th goal, Gein and the president are tied for first place, and Gein's not sure what his best move is. So, I usually just roll for this, and this is my sim deciding. Okay, so we got a one. Uh, he's gonna play to win. The president misses the green on her second shot, but is up and down in two and pairs the hole. Gein is, the, is on the green in two and putting the birdie. Putting for birdie. The crowd of executives goes quiet and Gein approaches his ball. He sinks the six foot putt and the crowd goes wild. Gein wins 5,000 simoleon prize and donates it to the Old Town SPCA in the company's name. The president shakes his hand and tells him that the company needs more people who are willing to grab the bull by the horns. Gein is promoted to vice president and receives two logic and two creativity skill points. Good for him. 
because Gein doesn't have a college diploma, and I have, um, education is good mod, so that's excellent for him. And he brought home Vinny Finnegan. The corner office is yours. Pay takes another leap. However, the competition is rougher on this floor. Keep sharpening those skills and make lots of friends. You never know when you'll need them. Wow, he got a decent bonus too. That's great. Sweeney. Stop it. Stop it. You guys are not allowed to think that your great uncle is hot. Knock it off. It's weird. He does want to go on a date. I don't really like it, but... Ghosts haven't come out yet, which is weird. I think they would. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll talk to her about cuisine. I think her face is stuck. I'll have to fix that. Let me get back box here. Maybe she has to be part of her household for it to work. <laughs> Oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, stop sitting. Not on a date. I know you're old, but stop it. Old forever. Uh, she wants to dance with you, my dude. So... Oh, they're already going for the okay. Well, alright. Yeah. Have fun with that. Oh, she's watering him! I can didn't know you could do that. Not sad he's been moving on so fast at all. Uh-huh. Ooh! Yep, that happened. Now she- wow, you didn't have a crush on him before and you slept with him? Okay, never mind. They're obviously done with this date. Oh. <gasps> what? 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 Who who are you here for? No. Starla? What's happening? Oh, she's old age. She ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, I was looking at her knee, she was fine, and then no, she just ran out of time. Poor poor Brenton. Tanner is at work talking with a colleague about a recent film he saw. The colleague suggests they go together and have a movie marathon. Tanner doesn't know this colleague that well, but is excited about the marathon. Should he accept the offer? He's going to decline. Tanner declines and his colleague is offended. In an attempt to smooth things over, Tanner agrees to borrow some of his colleague's favorite movies and watch them. Somewhere in between office and home, he loses them and has to pay a hundred dollars to have them replaced. Tanner, the heck? That sucks. I had a friend once that I lend t uh, the Sims 2 Pets game, and when I say Sims 2 Pets, I mean Sims 2 Pets for like the Game Boy. And I loved the heck out of that game, and uh, she literally never gave it back to me. 
And when I confronted her about it, she was like, you never lent me that. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I did. And she was like, no. And I was just kind of left there, like, dumbfounded, like, yes, you did. <laughs> like, I, I gave, I let you borrow it. What do you mean? And then, ever since then, I haven't let anybody, any of my expensive stuff that I'm really attached to. That I can't buy another of or anything. He's so mad. I'm so sorry, Brendan. Listen, we'll get you good grades. Just, just do your homework. Bleh. Having just purchased 2,000 shares in Moneywell Computers on a tip from this broker, Gein heads to the corporate water cooler and overhears a conversation around the computer company. About the computer company. Apparently, the military is about to award Moneywell a lucrative contract to provide all the military computers for the next 10 years. But if Moneywell fails to get the contract, they will be forced to declare bankruptcy and close their doors. Gein's broker assured him that their new stock was a sure thing, but now it sounds a bit risky. <laughs> okay. One. Hold the shares. Mm. Gein returns to his office, tunes his radio to SCFNN, the Sim City Financial News New York, and hears Moneywell Computers announce its plan today to seek shelter from its creditors by filing for corporate bankruptcy. Aww. The company, which had been hoping to land a contract for military computer equipment, was left with no other choice when the military awarded the contract to rival computer maker Microscotch. <laughs> Microsoft. <laughs> In other big business news, Microsoft Scotch stock is up 17% in moderate trading. Gein kicks himself for not listening to his instincts and for losing the $4,000 he initially invested. So now we have no money. Yep. Hi, Gein. Where'd you even get the $4,000? We don't even have... There's Miria. Okay, now we can move Maria's grave to the cemetery. We're still waiting for the other two to come out. They usually come out at night, I wonder why they're coming out during the day. And there's Starla, and she's more colored because she died from old age. Don't go in here and scare your grandson or great nephew. The brothers. Oh, they're best friends now. That's kind of cute. I have the same hair. I just realized that. I think one of them's just blonde or a lighter tone for their hair. That's hilarious because I randomly rolled their hairs. So it's really funny they got the same style. And now that I look at them, they're actually really similar looking. They got... Come back here and sit down. I was looking at you guys. Well, that was a lot. Um, Bula and Maria died in a fire that I really don't feel very responsible for. Um, so I really did everything I could to prevent it. Um, and... Then Starla died from natural causes of old, caused by old age. So Starla didn't have that long. I knew she was gonna die in this round. I just forgot. <laughs> um, cause some older Sims are very near death and some aren't. It's I randomly rolled their ages, so that way everyone wasn't the same age. Uh it's very unfortunate, especially for Brenton. Poor kid. Lost his mom, lost his grandma, and then lost his great aunt. Like, jeez. And now he's living with a bunch of guys. He's living with his great uncle. He's living with another great uncle, I think. Yeah. And then cousins, I think? I think Duncan and Tanner would be his cousins at this point. Boy, though, this poor kid. 
he has, he's having a real, real shit time of childhood. He's only got three days left till he's a teenager. Ugh. But that's going to be it for this episode. Oh, woof. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think of the series and the neighborhood down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>